Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest Swords in the last episode. We continued through Seacast Sea Cove. Now we're going to try to finish it off in this episode. So, yeah, I got my Master Stroke ready. Because there's going to be hopefully another Metal Babble in here. I'm hoping. So, yeah, I don't want to use it quite yet. Oh, there's a Metal Slime behind those guys, and we got rid of them. Well, not a Metal Slime, but a, uh, uh, metal something. Like that. Yeah, my shield's getting pretty bad, messed up there. So let's actually. I can't strike that. There's nothing to strike. Uh oh. Oh man, I am messing this up. I wish I could break their shield. Oh, come on. See how a little bit of. Uh oh. See how a little bit of carelessness can really get you in trouble. That's it. Let's use these. Alright. These. Come on. What the freak? Oh, they're antidote herbs, duh. So yeah, let's heal up my pops and me, and what the hell, I'll fix up my shield as well. And see how he just runs at you now? Drago just running at you. Like a, like a giant dragon dinosaur guy on a mission. Yeah, and you're gonna wanna kill... This is a good spot to level up right here. Because there's so many enemies, and this is where you get Drago. I'm gonna hit you until you're dead. Or even after you're dead, because you're a jerk. You're a big jerk head, Drago. Now, here's a spot you could run into a metal battle. And basically, I'm just gonna bide my time for a moment. Come on. Nothing? Oh well. Yeah, I think they come after a certain period of time, I'm not sure. They're, they come randomly in this level. I'm not. I'll just. Wait. I guess I'll just wait until. Until the next one. Right here. Block that guy. I am watching. They move like crap. You hear that noise? Must be getting closer. Oh, what is that? Hi, that's it. The scaly beast that's been causing all the trouble. Yeah. Hmm, what is that? Is it just me? Or does it seem a bit... human? Uh, it does look... Uh, he's got... <laughs> pants on. Like the Hulk. Or Ready yourself, lad. It's coming for us. Let's do this. <laughs> So yeah, my dad just buffed me up. Nice. I was say, I believe this guy's weak to lightning. Now he's gonna do a drop kick on us. And you wanna hit these projectiles back at him. And now as ever boss he makes a spirit bomb like Dragon Ball Z. And you can keep hitting him right there. Basically he does that three times and then he comes up at you. And now you just whack away at him. Oh, I'll 
also these projectiles, uh, the projectiles also poison you if you get hit by them. You can't deliver, your dad can't deliver the final blow. Or neither can the projectiles, so you have to hit him. Oh, alright, nice. Take that, fish monster. Alright, we got an ice crystal. That's the stuff, lad. Yes, it is the stuff, dad. Oh, not a bad score. A, I like A. And our renown goes up. Mm, let's see what we got bonuses of. Overkill and accuracy. Alright, nice. We get a Yangus hat and a uh, dog shield. It's still breathing. Step back, lad. I'll finish it off. Alright, um. See thee, beast. Shame you had to learn your lesson the hard way, eh? No one gets the better of Claymore and son. We should start a business called that. How do these lasses always track me down? Oh, it's you. Please, do not kill him. I beg you. He's my brother. What? Your brother? Give over, lass. That is a monster. That can't be true. Flaheth. You have come. Is he speaking? Aruval. Why? Look out! This body... It... It was... I think... Since... I left you... Aww. But Aroval... Do not... Approach me! I... I cannot... Control my body... Cyphos has... Oh, poor Arabelle. That seemed rather long. Mon frère! Oh. Poor Flore. <laughs> oh, what did he drop there? Is some sort of necklace or something? What the X happened to Aravo? It's Florette, isn't it, lass? Can you shed any light on it? It was about one year ago. My brother was suddenly hit by a high fever. Ah. Ever since that time, his body began to be covered in scales. I tried to heal him with my magic, but it was no use. That's a shame. I prayed to the goddess for my brother to be cured. Mm. Together, we left Avalonia to live in the forest, where no one would see him. Come on, who's gonna judge fish guy? Not me. And never did I lose hope. I was certain there was a way to treat his malady. But then, I awoke one morning, and he was gone. Oh. Bye, Ek. Of all the things to happen to the poor lad. Yeah, that is a shame. Upon learning that the creature sighted near the coast was notable for its scales, the Florette became extremely agitated. Yet more so when she discovered that you had already been dispatched to subjugate it. Yeah, because we were Thank so the killed. Thank goddess them. for our timely arrival. Though these are not joyous times, I realize. Not at all. How about what the lad said? Didn't Aravel mention the Deathbringer? Yeah, he did. Aye. The way he looks now isn't so different from the way Xyphos looked when I gave him a praying five years ago. Xyphos Does this mean we didn't destroy Xyphos after all? Will someone tell me what the heck's going on here? Yeah, what is going on? The mask. Yes, the mask. It is surely the cause of all of this. Maybe. Come, we must find Mother 
and we must plead with her to divest herself of it. If we can, I mean, she's probably We're with you, Unless. Xyphos is behind this. No doubt about it. Yeah, he is. She's probably horribly burnt. Anyways, we'll see you in the next episode in Chapter 5. Bye-bye.